This is KX 18 Sports. Johnny question mark. Not that catchy and he probably won't trademark it. But a year ago, Aggie fans didn't really know who Johnny Manziel was. Now, one year later, they don't really know where he will be. Watching on the sidelines or under center when the Ags play Rice. The 20 year old Heisman Trophy winner would be an obvious choice at starting quarterback if not for the pending NCAA investigation. But don't expect any answers on his availability when Coach Sumlin talks with media tomorrow thanks to Athletics Director Eric Hyman who issued this statement. The focus of our student athletes is solely on preparing for Rice this Saturday. And in the best interests of Texas A&M and the 100 plus student athletes on the team, I have instructed Coach Sumlin, his staff, and our student athletes to refrain from commenting on or answering questions regarding the status of our starting quarterback, Johnny Manziel. So we all have to wait until Saturday, possibly, against Rice to find out. Five yards and a cloud of dust. More like 5,000 yards and another trip to the playoffs. The Franklin Lions running game was about as powerful as the jaws of its namesake last season. Coach Mike Hedrick's team racked up more than 5,000 yards on the ground in 2012. But Darius Floyd, who made up nearly 3,000 of those yards, graduated. But Coach thinks his core group of returning players will know how to get the job done in 2013. Winning and, and learning how to win you know, it, it's a big plus really at our level. And uh, th these kids will carry that on, I think. Coach Hedrick and the Lions begin the season with a pair of home games. The first of those is Friday night at 730 against Hearn. Nothing personal, business is business. A&M's move to the SEC last season may have been just that, a business decision. Clearly, old Big 12 rival Oklahoma doesn't hold a grudge. The two schools announced today they will be part of a double header that will feature four universities playing at the Toyota Center in Houston. Along with the duo, the Rice Owls and the Houston Cougars will also play in the Lone Star Showcase, which coach Billy Kennedy believes will benefit the Ags. We need to continue to play a lot of Texas schools, you know, and obviously there are a couple in the state we hope to be playing soon down the road, um, but we just think it's good for basketball, you know, and uh, we recruit the state of Texas and for us to, to continue to recruit the high school kids here, we have to play teams that uh, they recognize. That Lone Star Showcase is at the Toyota Center on December 21st. The maroon and white start the regular season at home on Friday, November the 8th against Buffalo. And in the major leagues tonight, an absolutely crazy game at U.S. Cellular Field. The Astros have gone ahead 10 to 8 in the ninth inning. Meanwhile, the Texas Rangers in the Northwest playing the Mariners 3 to 2 in the fourth inning. But again, Amanda, the big question right now on everybody's mind, Will Johnny Manziel play on Saturday? And it seems like everyone has an opinion, too. Yeah, Johnny who? Yeah, exactly. Johnny who? <laughs> no. I think, I think he'll play. Okay. You think okay. So? That's my vote. What do you think? I'd be shocked if he didn't. I'd be absolutely shocked if he didn't. But crazier things have happened, like winning the Heisman Trophy a year ago. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see. Well, we'll be back with your final check of the weather.